Nice to see you. This is Mr. Rick Burke. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Senator Gordon. Well. <laughs> Glad to see you and thank you a lot. I saw last night was in this morning. That's uh, my brother-in-law. Take your pants off. Right. Robert Rowan from the young office in Los Angeles. He lives in Pasadena. Oh, well, now, let's You're get... You're sweet to see you. Yes, well, let's get in. Let's get in. How about you? Let me just leave it. Oh, right here. Okay, great. Oh, oh, I thought we were good. Here we go. I didn't know we were good. Put it on. I didn't either. Okay. <laughs> great. Everybody's looking here, sir. Look right here. Okay, sure. Ma'am, look right here. Great. Thank you. Well, All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good to see 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 Thank you, sir. Thank you, Here. Put You're so there. good. And there. I got to see you. I'm good. Thank you, sir. I'd like to give you something, Emily. Oh. <laughs> As an ambassador for the world's greatest example, the Lord Jesus Christ, we had this uh, made up this morning, and, um, and I hope that it'll grace your library and and we have something here. Really? Uh, this is Steps to Christ, which is uh, a, a uh, world's bestseller. And please give us to Nancy Reagan. I sure will. Uh, and I appreciate the opportunity to well. shake your hand. You've been the best president we've had in many years. Senator John Sherman Cooper, former Senator John Sherman Cooper of Kentucky. No, 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 secret, sir. Honoring yourself and Bob, so there's a total of 32 guests coming in. We'll do individuals on the side and then a big group photo back here. Now, Pete's got to get a light in here quickly so we can do this and make it look good. But they're in town for agricultural briefings. They're on the hill. You know, they, they're they heading up the agriculture yeah. industry. They're all from Kentucky. Mr. President. Nice to see you. I'd like you to meet Tim Lasalle. How do you do? Very good. Pleased to meet you. Thank you. And Tim's been in. He's the head of this group, and he's been introducing them as they come through. Thirty great Californians. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Tom. Yes. Yeah. This is Bob Smart. Very good. That's amazing. Carol Storm from near Chico. Thank you. This is Mark Ketman, Mr. President, from Steve City. And this is Ray Johnson from near the Mexican border. This is Alan Reynolds. I'd like to also present to you Ms. Mona Panky from Bakersfield. Mr. Jim Allen from Kalinga. Thank you. And this is Barbara Buck from Irvine. Also, this is Brian Arcadian from the Fresno. Introduce Mr. Joe Martinez. And this is Mr. Steve Knox from the Sierra Valley. Hey, I'm going to tell you. The foundation of produce produced and commodities by our individual growers and individual producers of this organization. We'd like to present this basket to you. Thank you very much. I'm very pleased to have this. Thank you. Thank you. 
Soldier, why'd you do that? Well, the soldier said, curfew. But he said, it isn't curfew yet. He says, I know he's a friend of mine. I know where he lives. He couldn't have made it. <laughs> I decided that wouldn't be the one to tell him. The one I did tell him was that they issued an order. You know, most of the automobiles in Russia are driven by the bureaucrats. And they're the ones with the cars and drivers and so on. So in order why not that anyone caught speeding, no matter who it was, they had to take it. Gorbachev came out of his country in the morning and knew he was late getting to the Kremlin. He told his driver to get in the back seat and he drive. And down the road he went past two motorcycle policemen. And one of them took out after him. In a few minutes he's back with his buddy and the other one said, did you give him a ticket? He said, no. Well, he said, why not? We're supposed to give anyone a ticket. He said, oh, not, not this one. He, he was too important. And he said, well, who was it? He said, I couldn't recognize him, but his driver was Gorbachev. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the Well, I want you to know, 
take great pride in signing this memorandum agreement today, the 40th anniversary of Israel's independence. This agreement formalizes our relationship of strategic cooperation. It reflects the enduring U.S. commitment to Israel's security. We know well that a strong Israel is necessary if peace is to be possible, and we also know that Israel can never be truly secure without peace and commitment to another flag. I've asked George Schultz to continue his efforts, and we remain convinced that our initiative is balanced and offers the only realistic basis on which to make progress. This is the time to say yes to peace. And so I'll quit talking and start writing. <laughs> the tensions, why don't we sit down and tell us what we don't like about each other. So these 17 people represent everybody in radio, print, publishing, film, etc. Uh, I think for the introductions, we better stand over here, those people there. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I, I, I work better the other way. This is a head of a delegation, Mr. President, Mr. Pauline. Hello, Mr. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. I wish you a very successful and pleasant trip to Moscow. Well, thank you very much. I'm looking Which forward to it. Thank you. Mr. Nice. Chuck Berikoff, the charge here, here at the Soviet Embassy. Nice to see you. Mr. Shishkin, the first deputy director of TASH. How do you do, Mr. Hello. President? I'm very glad to see you again. I interviewed you before the meeting. Good to see you again. Mr. Kesber, the deputy chairman of Gospel Radio. Mr. Green Bonoff, first deputy minister of the Ministry of Culture. Mr. Mamliev from Gaz, they're their book division, book publish. Uh, Mr. Medvedev from Gaskino. That's our film business. And the famous Gerasimov. Yes, hello there. Nice to see you. And Mr. Lebedev, the Central Committee. How do you do? Mr. Divokovsky, the Internal International Department Central Committee. Mr. Grigoryev, Deputy Editor in Chief Pravda. Mr. Akhmakievich, Ukrainian SSR. Mr. Kai Lawalis, Lithuanian SSR. Mr. Britons, editor in chief of the Soviet, I mean of, of a Latvian newspaper. Mr. Leto, editor in chief of an Estonian newspaper. Mr. Podzienkov from Novosti. Nice to see you. And this is a young Mr. Somov, their, their interpreter. I think it's the more we can open the channels of communication and talk to each other, communicate with each other, and the quicker we will eliminate some of the problems between our two countries. I think it's the more we can open the channels of communication and talk to each other, communicate with each other, and the quicker we will eliminate some of the problems between our two countries. 
говорить с друг другом, общаться с друг другом, тем быстрее нам удастся удалить проблемы, которые у нас сейчас находятся. We only get in trouble when we're talking about each other instead of to each other. Это у нас всегда намного хуже, когда мы говорим о друг друге, чем друг с другом. And, uh, well, I hope that your meetings here with our information agency and with Director Wick has been fruitful. I hope that your meetings here with our information agency and USAS, Director Wickham, will be very Now I think I better get in the mind for this picture. You know you're leaving here. That's a gig. But the guy that you're shooting, you're going to look in on my suggest for the good deal of some of this. Mr. President, just to add one thing while we're doing this, we also have a large number of people from the private sector. From we're going to have to ask everybody to come in so we can get them to tell us they're going to need this question. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Well, listen, thank all of you. We won't take time shaking hands until we have to be. Getting me out of town. Okay, we're all going back to the Roosevelt room now. So we, we suggest one of those again. Oh, I'm looking forward to it.